Hi everybody, this is Sadie Valeri and I run a small art school here in San Francisco and I wanted to give um, my students and anybody else who's interested a quick overview on how I wash my brushes. So um, I use two different products to wash my brushes. One is Turpenoid Natural, which is actually just a brush cleaner. It's not actually turpentine or turpenoid or odorless mineral spirits, it's just a brush cleaner. And then I have a second jar, and in the second jar I have either Gamsol or odorless turpenoid. Odorless turpenoid and Gamsol are both odorless mineral spirits, and they're a little bit more like a watery consistency. And you can see that the natural stuff is a little bit more viscousy, almost like a, a, a little bit like honey. It also smells of really strong sort of orange, rancid orange smell. So the reason I use both these products is because the Turpenoid Natural makes a really, really great brush cleaning solution and I can leave my brushes in it overnight. And then the Odorless Mineral Spirits, I use uh, both as a brush cleaner and I also put a little bit into my medium sometime if I need to thin down my medium. So at the end of the day, when my brushes are dirty, I give them a good swish in my jar full of nat Turpenoid Natural. In the bottom of the jar, I have a Silicoil that comes from a Silicoil brand brush cleaning kit. I don't like the kit because I don't like the jar that it comes in. I prefer these nice big um, uh, uh, canning jars. And so I take the coil out and I put it into the bottom of each jar. So at the end of the day, I clean off all my paint in the natural turpenoid. And then it makes a really, really nice consistency. It'll actually sort of dry to a gel and I can actually use my fingers to shape the brush to help it keep its shape. And this helps my brushes stay um, uh, perfect for a really, really long time. I love it. And then with the other brushes, I go through all of them and get them all nice and clean. But then in the morning, when I go to start painting, I don't want to have this Turpenoid Natural in my paint. Why don't I want it in my paint? The reason I never want to get it in my paint or in my painting is because it never dries. Natural Turpenoid never dries. So you would never want something like that in your oil painting. Great for a brush cleaner, keeps your brushes pliable and conditioned for a long time, but you never want this in your paint. So I never use this in my medium and I never let this touch my painting. So in the morning, I have a separate jar, and before I start painting, I clean all of my brushes in the odorless mineral spirits. Odorless turpenoid or Gamsol, odorless mineral spirits. You don't want to leave this stuff on your brushes overnight because your brushes will get crispy, and then the bristles will break and they might fray. But it's great for painting with. I use it to clean my brush while I'm painting to just get everything off of it and I'll sometimes put a little bit into my painting medium. Then at the end of the day, again when my brushes are all dirty, I go and I put it, my brushes into the Turpenoid Natural. I lay them flat to dry overnight and that way none of the Turpenoid Natural drips down into the ferrule and weakens the brush. And if I need to leave them for a really long time, like a month or a week, or if I'm just not using these brushes right now, I will go ahead and put them upright in a jar after they've been left overnight. Several months or weeks or days later, I can come back and my brushes will still be nice and soft. This is a brush that has been sitting in the Turpenoid Natural for a long time. It's nice and soft and pliable and it will stay like that forever. So again, that's great for brush conditioning, not so great for a painting to have something stay wet and pliable forever. So anyway, I just wanted to clear that up and I hope you find it useful. If you're interested in other videos that I teach for painting and drawing techniques, you can go to sadievaleri.com slash videos. That's S-A-D-I-E-V-A-L-E-R-I dot com slash videos. Thanks. See you soon.